It's a theme song, ba 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 ba, for a podcast thingy, whatever this is. That's Joe, ta 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 ta, and I'm Pete. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, Joe. There you go. Theme song. Good job, man. Thank you very theme much. Theme song on the fly. Thank you. That's pretty good. Thank you very much. It took me a minute to look at my fingers for it. Like I practiced. We need to practice about fifteen. We seconds. need to cut, paste that. And send it off to uh, copyright town. <laughs> yeah, right. That way, if anybody else wants to use that, start theme song, cashing them checks. Ta, 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 ta. If that theme song, ever it's not. It's out. not a Bo Diddley beat. It's got that extra little. Ta, ta, ta. Yeah, or <laughs> like the vanilla. Or, like vanilla yeah. used to say that about the Queen thing. <laughs> Mine has that extra little ding in it. Yeah. Ding 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 yeah. ding 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 um. Hey, did I tell you about the time? <laughs> no, I don't know what 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 time is this? That uh, I was renting a house, and uh, I took the AC, the window units out of the house with me when I left the AC window. Units. So did you pay? I mean, no. Well, because you're kind of like admitting the. No, I didn't steal them. They they okay. My AC goes out okay. at the house I'm renting. Like the central. Yeah. Right. And we had had problems with it like twice before, and he had, they had come and fixed it. But then, like the last time, they told the guy like it's going to be a lot of money to fix that. Yeah. And he was so he knew it was coming. Well, it, the day finally came. It just stopped working. It broke. It broke. And it's middle of July, of course, in Texas. And uh, so we tell him, and he's like, "Look, uh, this is what you can do. Don't pay rent this next month. Instead, use that money to go buy a window unit." Okay, deal. Well, yeah. So that's what we did. Now, I did not buy the window units. I was you stole them from another house. Yeah, <laughs> there was an old, <laughs> there was a house where this old couple lived, and I thought they'll never be able they'll to never. stop me. <laughs> they'll never be able to stop me, even if they even, even, if they, even if they hear me, they'll never know right. what's going on in there. Right. And if they hear me, if they <clears throat> see me, it won't matter. They're too old to. I mean, they just won't be able. They could call the cops, but I could just, I could just say, "Don't you dare touch that phone!" And they would just freeze, probably. You know, you could probably. They probably just got landlines. You could probably just cut the. Yeah, right. They got landlines, or by the time they know how to pull their phone out and actually use it, I'm long yeah. gone. They've like, anyway, they've like called their nephew. So yes, I acquired. Uh, I acquired. We'll say that two window units. Uh, okay. I acquired two well, window units. Probably gonna have to use. Yeah. So it's time to move out. And he's like, just leave them window units. No, exactly. No. So, but in the case of people's court of Joe versus, so I, Lord, let me tell you, no, those are your window units. So I said, Oh, okay. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. I, I mean, what are you going to do? Took those things. Oh. I mean, right. And like I said, I had acquired them and I felt now that I'm moving out, I'll give them back. And those old people were so fucking surprised when they saw me. <laughs> I told you I was bringing them back. <laughs> oh, uh, oh man. What's funny is my town is so small that, that that means we're square. They have no legal recourse against me. Really? Yeah, because our town laws are if you give if you give back what you stole and you say you're sorry. Then that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's so stupid. That is not the law of your town. <laughs> uh, if it is, man, we need to uh, we need to get a crew together and uh, <laughs> ransack your town. Ran same my town and get uh, what nothing and get candy bars I'm, from the gas station. I know where <laughs> I know where your storage unit is. Well, yeah, you do. I don't remember what's in there though. Well, nothing exciting. I mean, unless you think. So did he ever call you and go? Hey, <laughs> asshole. No. No, I'm kind of surprised he didn't, but, you know, uh, I don't know that it's going to be smart to use him as a reference, but. 
I had a landlord one time that was the most difficult son of a bitch that I've ever dealt with in my life. I had one of those too once. For no reason. Like, like you know, the air conditioner in the 100-year-old house would go out. <clears throat> right. What'd you do? What'd you have it set on? What'd you have it set on? <laughs> what you, you have it damn, set this on? is what I had it set on. Right, yeah. I had uh, it to my comfort would, level. He would send his brother over who, like, if there was a crackhead tree, <laughs> this guy was the prime nugget off of the crackhead tree. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so he'd send him over. Okay, the prime And nugget. he was never happy about having to come over there and do anything. And so he was always an asshole. His brother was. An <laughs> <laughs> you had to deal with this I whole mean, asshole family. Yeah. And I still see him around sometimes. When I see him. I just keep walking. They'll be like, hey. Like you could tell that like they start to do the hey, hey. And I was like, I ain't got nothing for you, man. <laughs> you you know what I mean? You And they kept my deposit. Oh, of course they did. Dude, this. It was just like, whatever. This town is a rough town to move into. This like one, one time the sink was dripping water. Like just all over the floor. <laughs> I mean, obviously, right. the sink is dripping water. Right. The sink is, like, destroying and so I was the like, house uh, with the water. Hey, th- you know. Right. Look. <laughs> and the crackhead brother would come over and go, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and he got down there one time and was, like, <laughs> almost yelling at me in my own house, which he was a really feeble little fella, so it's not like I sure. really gave Well, you know, you get on one that crack. Down, but at you. one, at some point when you get home from work and a little crackhead's laying in your kitchen floor yelling at you, it's like, right, look, yeah. look, bud, you don't know me that well. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that, you and, uh, little fucking crackhead. Down. And so I, like, reach down and I splash the water in his face. Because he goes, he goes, where, where are the, where's this leak at? Where, where's this leak? And he's like laying down, like as close as I am to you. And I just reach down, and I splash the water in his face, expecting for him to get up and try, now, to, try to fight you. Now we're gonna go, right? You yeah. know, like and he just goes, "Oh," <laughs> and he fixed my pot. <laughs> Stupid asshole. I can't stand it. And I see him around town. I swear, dude, if there's some reason, if, if, if first of all, if there's some reason for me to go out in public in town, there is a. 80% chance I'm going to see one of those people that I had to do. That guy or his brother. You know what? I don't ever see somebody cool that I like I want to see. It's always this son of a bitch that used to come to my house and act like I made up a problem. Splash water in his face. God. Here's, here's how I envision that going. Because I've known you so long. Here's how I envision that going. You're in a bad mood because the water's dripping. He gets under there and very calmly looks around and goes, uh, where is this link? No. And you were like, right here, motherfucker. This is a guy that you see at the gas station that's like, hey, uh, my car's out of gas and I need it to, can I borrow $4 to go over there to my, my aunt's got diabetes and I don't need to see, to see about getting her some groceries and my, if you could just give me $4, the Lord would bless you for that, eternal life. It's, it's that guy and fuck that guy. And his side hustle was fixing houses? He's still, I'm just telling you the character. He's still hustling. Of the guy we're dealing with. Okay, I see. That, so this now you've you've made up one guy out of two separate. I see. I see what you mean. You're saying that's the kind of demeanor we're dealing with here, right? Yeah. So you claim that no, he was not calm and cool under there, saying no, he was yelling at me in my own house. I'm sorry, about, where where did you see that drip at? Uh, that's because that's what I envisioned. Some guy getting down there going. Hey, where'd you see that drip? Right here, you son you know, of a bitch. First of all, no. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is not how that, dude. <laughs> then, but one time our hot water pot busted, and the city pop, the city made them fix it, and they had to get underneath the house, and it, just, it was horrible. I always, I always felt bad for that and landlord. I sat there and laughed the whole time on there. I always felt bad for the landlord that, uh, that I stole the ACs from, not for stealing the AC, but that he was an older dude, and he he definitely was trying to work it himself. So you stole the AC. You just admitted that you stole the AC. No, they, they were. Well, you just you admitted a minute ago. Those are my ACs. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm nobody. Well, my opinion means it, nothing. My opinion's as good as my landlord's because he's just a man, just like me. Anyway, <laughs> he's just a man, just like me. Sound like you're about to bust into a Muppet song. <laughs> Um, but I'll tell you, I felt bad for him because he would he would get under the house when something was wrong. Like he'd go under there, and I could tell it sucked for him. I, Whatever, that's he signed for that man. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I didn't feel so bad. I didn't call him when shit broke, 
But I'm just saying, I like I never wanted him over there because I, I was like, man, I know, I know he is just going to get to the point where like, oh, this house is a pain in the ass. I'm gonna sell it, you know, or something like that. And then we'd be like out. Well, let me tell you what to the point I got. Or when they were underneath my house, and it was just that one guy, the crackhead brother, and he was—he had to get there through my son's room underneath a crawl space in the closet. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I've got some big nails in there, and you can just nail that board down. <laughs> just nail it down. While Go away for the weekend. That's uh, that's why I, see, I thought about it. It's that kind of, but stuff. I didn't do it. <clears throat> It's that kind of stuff why I think these guys were probably reasonable. Dude, they were and you're reasonable. Just them oh, we'll see him in public. We'll just go out to eat. Well, I'll see him in public. It's drawn to me like freaking malls of freaking. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I tell you, I in, had a. Anyway. I, I, I had the kind of landlords you're talking about right now once. That, that old man that I was talking about, he wasn't that way. But the guys I had about, I don't know, two or three landlords before that, they were just like that, man. They would. They would find the crappiest old house they could and do the most minimal cheap repair they could. They weren't carpenters, right. you know what I mean? But they like, like one of them was a plumber, was his regular job. So they would like get these old shitty houses, put in like a bathroom downstairs that would be real crappily done, right. you know what I mean? And then try to rent them out. Now, to be fair, they were cheap to rent, which is why I was in one. But... <laughs> Like, Still. you know, shit would break, right. like, just, you know, daily. And you'd call and be like, hey, man. And every time, man, I guess it's just being in Texas, but every time it's the same problem that gets you. When you realize your landlord is shitty is when it's the summer and the AC goes out. That's what I'll say for this place, though. The, when the, these people, AC goes out, it's fixed. I've never had a problem. And you know what? I don't know what they look like, and they don't know what I look like. That's nice, They dude. get their money, and when something breaks, it gets fixed. It's a perfect relationship. Well, these were the And I've never met the crackhead brother at this place. (laughs) I've never had to hear his story or your story or anything like that. We just, oh, rent's due. Here's your money. Yeah. Oh, this broke. You fix it. And it all, and it works just perfectly. Listen, I had a blow up fight with a landlord. It's one of the only times that's See, ever happened See, you're the one life. that keeps saying, I stole this from this landlord, and I had this blow up fight uh, with this uh, landlord. Idiot, and you're you like, splashed idiot. water in a human's face. Uh, I didn't human, do that. Human. Human. See, listen. Human. Even, at least my story is... Human. Like, I'm not about to tell you I punched somebody. This guy smelled like old Milwaukee aftershave. <laughs> my, listen, had my... F- freaking covered in just d- dust and d- decade, listen. decades of... Track marks, and you're coming over here. No, I bet he's just a good guy. You splash water in his face. Listen, and, you, and then you go into, I stole this AC from this old man, this son of a bitch. I took it right up out from under his nose. And then you're, and then what was the story you're about to go in? I had a blow up fight with this other one. Okay, I don't I think, know. I think maybe we should reevaluate. I don't understand why what, when you do you the think? character of Joe, why you go into this, this voice. I don't. You could just quote me. Without what? making fun of my voice at the same time, what a dick! What I'm about to tell you, see, look, this is this is my point right here. When I say I had a blow up fight with my landlord, what I'm about to say is a story about the time that me and my landlord had words, and I was like, "Well, you've disrespected me, sir," and I like walked out, and that's how my big blow up fight with the landlord goes. Yours is like I splashed water in that motherfucker's face, and I was ready for him to pop up from under that sink. I was going to nail him in the fucking wall. And I thought, all I could think was, hey, he's got my big pliers in his pocket, too, that he just borrowed from me. He's going to whack me with those things when he gets up. See, he's going to be telling me about, about who's the more aggressive one between us. I got this blow-up fight with my landlord. Yeah. You're so aggressive. Well, Bullshit. listen, this really happened, though, because that was, like I said, I had a shitty landlord, and uh, AC goes out, and that's when the problems really start, right? Yeah. We had the house inspected. I remember you telling me this. And this bitch <laughs> they blew like that, up. Oh, they didn't they did. like that one bit. Because obviously, you know. Yeah, it was not. Because we, we were like, we were like. Oh, not we're, inspectable. Right. We were like, we're getting out of this. Either y'all going to fix some shit. Yeah. Or we're getting out. Either way, mm-hmm. we'll find out when that inspector gets here. Because like, my, my wife looked it up and was like. 
Oh, look what I found out. We you can just call an inspector anytime you want, no matter what house you're like living in or I had you remember when I lived in that place out like uh the first time I lived out in the country. Yes. Okay, so that place, the, the just July, air conditioner goes out. Of course. I heard him on the phone with the air conditioner guy go, You can't just get it working. <laughs> And the air conditioner guy goes, no. He goes, technically, I'm supposed to haul it off right now, but I don't have the equipment. <laughs> That's when you find out about your landlord's yeah, bed. Boy, he was a, hmm. Listen, when the AC goes out or like uh, you need a new septic tank or something like that, that's when you find out what kind of landlords you got yeah. real quick. Yeah. I also give it to my last landlord, man, that guy out in the country. The other time out in the country, we needed a new septic thing, and he... 80 years old went out there dug it up and <laughs> see that's and then that's when you're sitting there thinking like okay now like a real man would go like hey tractor I can do that you know like right or I sat there and looked out the window and was like man <laughs> glad that he knows how man. to do that look at that old man doing <laughs> stuff I look will that hard labor do. he's doing right you always in those moments I always feel like I'm dealing with like a Hank Hill Anyway, here's some Mad Cowboy songs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, call me if you need a good rendition of a... <laughs> yeah, of the Mad Cowboy. One time I went over, because I'd have to go. I paid rent in person. He lived across the road. And so I'd go over there to pay rent one time, and I'm just banging on the door, and his dogs are in there, and, like, the door's open, but, the, like, the glass screen door shut. Yeah. And so I'm just kind of having to bang a little louder. So I know he's in there. Right. He's so just you, old and he's asleep. But I'm not about feel, to just walk in his house. Right. Yeah. You feel kind of bad for banging so loud. I know what you mean. Yeah. But okay. So then I see him like coming. And he was he was always, you know, pretty well together. and wasn't like a idiot or anything, you know. Yeah. But he's coming walking to the door, like stumbling in the stuff. And I just thought, oh, man, he's drunk. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> but, I, you know, he wasn't. He gets to the door and his shirt's off. Yeah. And he has like these scratches and bruises all over him. <laughs> and I said, Oh my God, Mr. Whatever. I was like, uh, Are you okay? Have you been in a fight? <laughs> and he goes, Because I mean, we live, I mean, I'm the closest person that lives to him. Sure. You know what I mean? And he goes, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I just rolled the tractor over on myself again. God. <laughs> oh, and I just thought, Again. Oh, I, I, you know, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, what? Well, what you know? It's not like well, why didn't you call me? Because like what? I well, mean, he course, couldn't have called right, me. Yeah, but like, right. even if he would have, what am I gonna do? Pick a tractor up off of him? Right. Like, like man, he like ooh. oh jeez. He was like, yeah, I laid there for a while, and yada yada, was coming down the road, and they helped me. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. The, uh, well, it's a good thing somebody spotted him. I mean, I guess his wife or whatever would have found him. Eventually. So anyway, if I would have gone out there and helped with the septic system, well, I would just made it worse. You know. That's exactly right. That's why I I try not to st- step out of my bounds with stuff like that. Because every time I ever do, it's like I realize real quick, like, oh, I'm not. I can tell that I've been around you long enough that I mean you have about the same mechanical uh, yeah abilities. Yeah. That we both can swap that battery out right. on a car. We can do something. We can do something. And we both feel pretty good about our abilities to do that. Right. Look, if, it, if it's mostly like screws or bolts, uh, you know, I feel like I can get that. Not me. <laughs> well, look, when it comes to something like if it's like uh, you got to use some kind of caulk or wood glue look, or a lathe. I can tell you all the parts on this here guitar. That's pretty good. Let's that's, see. that's kind of a lot. That's good. Yeah, A car has about, a, like in my mind, yeah, a million more. Like when I look at an oh, owner's manual, yeah. cars have car, a lot more parts than guitars. and it's got like all the little things in it. You know, I just right. think, why would you even print this? <laughs> <laughs> Who could possibly keep up? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Who could it's, understand that? it's funny when a book's pictures scare you away from like wanting to read. Yeah, like it's like the pictures. Are, oh, uh-uh. right. It's supposed to be pictures make it easier to read books, but no, nah. sometimes. Sometimes like car manuals. That's when like uh, harder to read. Like, the Simpsons used to buy those. Uh, when we lived together in college, they'd buy those. Like oh, they buy old cars and just fix them up and sell them. Right. And so they'd get like uh, owners manuals and stuff to you know some '86 Malibu. Right. And to me, it was like they were like, "Hey, 
We're going to do some magic. Right. Like, <laughs> I just sit out there and watch them. Hey, man, like, we're going to build this airplane. What you are you going to do with that big thing? Like, oh, we're going right. to put this engine in that. I'm like, Whoa. No, nah, man, forget that. What does the engine do? Forget that. <laughs> no. Yeah, There's right. No I mean, you know right. What you, uh, I, I know what you mean. If, if, they, if you gave me all the parts uh -huh. to right. anything, and we're like, these all go together. Yeah. I, I don't know that 10 years is enough time for, that I would be able to put together an automobile. I, and people do it. I know, I know a guy. I just think, man, that's like doing, that, to me, that's like going, hey, I jumped over that tree. You see that big tree? Yeah. I can jump over it. I know a guy that was a mechanic, and he ended up like going to like school for it, but he said he first learned how to do it because when he was like 16 or 17, got his first car, he took it apart immediately he he took the car apart as That's much crazy. as he could possibly take it people, apart people that do that like there's people like you know like you hear about people that get guitars for the first time they're like oh I took it apart and yada 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 right. like the first time I took a guitar apart I was terrified yeah and I was like 26 <laughs> years old like I wasn't like <laughs> yeah right yeah it wasn't yeah. like my first time I touched a guitar I was like all right let's dismantle this thing and see what's inside of it it was right. horrifying right. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's. I mean, you hear about people like that, but that mechanic, dude, he's a good mechanic. But he said that's how he learned it first. He said his dad was like pissed at him because he just took his. He just decided to take his car apart. His dad was like, "Why the hell did you do that?" I mean, like, imagine you brought your son a car or something like that. Look, or, you I know. took it completely apart. Right. Look, my car is in pieces in the yard. What? Together, your car is in pieces all over our yard. <laughs> I know, but he he. That's how he oh, man, figured out funny. how cars work, and he put it back together. I remember the first time one of my roommates changed their own oil. I was like, <laughs> "Blew your mind! Like, what Whoa. are you doing? You're going under there? Whoa. What are you? What? So that's okay." There's people if they hear this, they're gonna like not ever talk to us again. I know. Do, do you do you not feel every time you get your oil changed, like when you pull up when you pull up, and a guy makes eye contact with you? Do you not feel like his first thought always is, "Why aren't you doing this yourself?" Sometimes, but. Like I told you the other day, when I pulled up to get the oil, I got my oil changed last week. Yeah, and I do feel like that when you just go in for like a. Sometimes I wait to be like, I also need a tire. So I, oh, could I just get a oil change too? So that way you feel so like, feel like they're like, oh yeah, sure, I'll I'll go ahead and just uh, do this little quick thing for you. Come into thinking, oh, he, this guy probably does his own oil changes most of the time, but since he needed the tire. He's yeah. here for the. I mean, I look like I look like a guy that would know how to change his own oil. <laughs> if, you, if there's something about <laughs> you me, you look like you should. I look sure. like I would know this, right? Stuff. I don't. But anyway, so I go in there the other day, and there's clearly a disgruntled customer in front of me. It's not happy with their bill. <laughs> I just uh, okay. And I'm like, bingo! Like, I'm not gonna get the. You know, I'm gonna be the <laughs> right. good cop here, right? And so <laughs> all their attention will be focused on this person. He's pissed. This guy's yells at him something. And he walks over to me and he goes, sir, can I help you? And I was like, uh, I, I just need a basic oil change or whatever. Do you know how long that'll be? And he goes, well, about 10 minutes if I can ever get this asshole out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just 10 minutes, man. <laughs> just in there and out. That's pretty funny, man. You and know you're mad at man. your customer whenever you just mm -hmm. straight up leave them and tell the other customer... Yep. That if I can get this asshole out of here. Yep. I I had an experience like that today. Where oh, I, yeah? Well, I had an experience where I was the asshole. Oh, really? I did, apparently. That's disgusting. I don't think we should <laughs> talk about this. No, about no, no, like no, 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 no. I mean, that's we something. Just, I, I thought we were just doing jokes. No, know, that's right? something I told you about like in confidence that I didn't think we would talk about here. Well, you just said well, that. Well, what I mean to say is. <laughs> I think I pissed someone off in electronics today. Where at? At, at Walmart. In electronics? The electronics lady. What'd you do? I just, I waited patiently for her to be done talking <laughs> to her friend. And then uh, she pretended I wasn't there, so I hit the little buzzer that buzzes them. And she did not like that. Okay. She, so we've you've stolen air conditioners. And you've had a knockdown drag out fight with the landlord. And then today you buzzed, you hit a buzzer right. in front of a right, and yes, and I'm yeah. I'm the one that's got yeah, because still nowhere have I approached splashing water in someone's face and getting ready for well, a fight. Somebody has a crackhead yelled at you in your own kitchen. I have had to deal with a crackhead before. It is it does kind of make you want to fight. Has actually. a crackhead yelled at you in your own kitchen? No, that's true. No. In front of your family, you would 
At least you do splash water. I had too. one. I had one uh, uh, laugh maniacally from the stage one time. <laughs> but uh, you had a crackhead laugh at you from no, the stage. No, I had a crackhead I was on stage with laugh maniacally. It oh. drowned out. It drowned out everything else that was going on on stage. His and Mel Russell band man. It's, uh, anyway, let's get back to your. Well, no, yeah, I okay. I go <laughs> to buy a laptop. Hey, nothing funny. I go to buy a laptop today from Walmart. Yeah. There's a lady that gets called. I hear her get called to the back on the PA. And they. What was her name? It was. Do you uh, yes. It was Sarah. Okay. And I hear them on the PA. They. I remember her name. Sarah right? to electronics. I remember her name because they said. Uh, they didn't say. Like usually they might say something like. Uh, 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 customer service to electronics please. Customer service to electronics. Right. They said. Right. Sarah, can you get back to electronics, please? Sarah, can you get back to electronics? Can you get back to electronics? Yeah. And they called her name out. Because, sir, you have been there before. Right. You have now left. You've gone somewhere. Get back. Go back to your place where you're working. Do you think that the Work's not over yet. Is, the, is that because that they saw you there? No, I wasn't back there yet. Okay. I was still, I was coming in the doors when I heard that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Now, okay. Right? Yeah. But I get back there. And she's talking to a customer. And so I thought that's why they called Sarah. Because there's a customer back here. Mm-hmm. No, those they were just friends. Turns out they were just buddies. And they were just chatting. Having a little chit-chat there just, at work. Yeah. And and so... So do you think that that girl called her? <laughs> hey, come back here so that nobody bothers us. Sarah, get back here. We were talking. Come back here to electronics so we can finish our conversation. Well... And then here comes Joe. And then here comes... Well, so... I, I was I waited for them to be done with their conversation. I did. Hi, I, I didn't come up and say excuse me and right. like interrupt their personal conversation from my business transaction. Instead, I just uh, I just waited and looked at the laptops because at first I thought there were two Walmart employees, so I did walk up on them like I was about to be like, "Hey, can you please?" But when I saw she was talking to a customer, I just stopped myself and <clears> turned <throat> back around, went to the laptops, and waited. And uh, it was like the wrong move, man. It pissed her off right away. She was so mad that she, that I was there. You kind of because in her mind, you turn around the corner. You're like, ah. right? That's probably yeah, yeah. Probably ah. she probably thought I turned around her corner and yeah. Instead of saying excuse me, I just walked up and was like, yeah. and you know, that's probably what you did. Right. That's <laughs> my face. Maybe I had a resting yeah. asshole customer face. Yeah. Anyway, so you walk back. So I walk back and I just look at this laptop I'm thinking about buying, a Chromebook. And she gets done with her conversation, says goodbye to her buddy. <laughs> and, That's very plotty. And <laughs> right. And so her friend leaves and she sits there and doesn't turn around to look at me. She sits there and starts like acting like I'm not there, like I would just go away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe if I don't look at him, I won't have to help this fucking guy. Anyway, so there's a little thing at the register. It says, need assistant? Press OK or something like that. So I pressed it like I thought it would Immediately you make her pager go off or something like that. Where yeah. is she? When you press this button. Two rows away. But, I mean, the, the shelves in the electronic department, you got to realize, are like but, three and a um, half, four feet tall. So we can but, see each other clearly. But, but you just couldn't go. Excuse me. Ma'am. Right. And, right. Yeah. So yeah. you, you press the button. Well, you I aggressively press the button no, after you go. I didn't you heavy know. breathe her conversation. Well, there's no aggressive about you, it. You, you, you aggressively it. heavy breathe her conversation. Okay. To can cut I, her off. Can I explain myself? I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Can I explain my thought process? Yeah. Okay. I I honestly thought at this point there must be someone else back here in electronics. This must not be the Sarah from the PA message. Maybe, there must be. A, maybe she doesn't speak English. Right. The the other the person named Sarah must be around here somewhere, and maybe if I hit this button. It will page someone. You know, it will like so yeah. a little alarm will go off and say, "Sarah, get back to the electronics department, please." Yeah. This or is where the there. fork in the road where I go, ma'am. Right, hey, ma'am, not me. And you, you're the button pusher. I'm the button pusher. Okay. Well, it says I didn't know what it was going to do. You what, what did you think it was going? Did you think it was going to go? I like I did said. Did you I, think it was going to buzz buzz somebody's pocket? Like yeah, very maybe. quietly, or, or like there's somebody. Or maybe make a little light go off somewhere. I didn't know. Okay. You know? All right. Let's, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, maybe little... just maybe the light blinks like this or okay. something like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Like up at the top of the register. Right. Okay. I got you. You know, I did not know that it was going to make some horrible squealy alarm <laughs> that sounded like I was breaking into a house. 
or a car or something like that, you know? <laughs> like, it sounded like I hit the panic button in the electronics department. <laughs> or I went out, it sounded like I went out an emergency exit or something so like that. Did, did that win her over? <laughs> she, she, let me tell you something about Sarah. <laughs> she did not like that shit one. <laughs> What'd she do? She, she walked straight, straight past me, no eye contact. Straight to the register to turn it off in a very aggressively, uh, <laughs> in a very passive aggressive way. Like you know what I mean? Like she matched, she matched your energy. I guess <laughs> she matched the energy of that alarm. Be, wasn't trying to be passive aggressive. I was trying to be polite, man, because I didn't know. That's why I didn't holler at her from two rows over or go interrupt her. Because I thought, well, maybe there's some reason she hadn't turned around to help me. You know what I mean? Oh, that's funny. I wouldn't press that button, and man, that alarm went off, and she. Uh, just walk past me like you god <laughs> like you know so then so then so then you just bought the brought the Chromebook and left <laughs> no <laughs> she was so pissed i i the more i think about this the more i think she just straight lied to me cuz i at this point i thought if i just tell her what i need real quick i'll get the hell out of here yeah and i and it'll be all good right and so i said i go uh I'm just looking at this Chromebook. I was thinking, oh, we ain't got no laptops. Is she, what I heard she immediately. Got, okay. Right. You you say, I'm just looking at this Chromebook. I'm just looking well, at it. Well, we ain't got no laptop. <laughs> but you've already been looking at it. Yeah, for 10 minutes, waiting for her to be done with her conversation. <laughs> what did you do when she said that? <laughs> well, in true asshole fashion, I looked at her and said, Y'all don't have any laptops? You should have hit that button again. <laughs> oh, right. That's where you would have thrown water in her fucking face. No, no. I didn't hit that button again. <laughs> I, oh, well, then. It, <laughs> burr, burr. They had no laptops. That's funny. On display, they had like 14 laptops on display that you could buy. But, but Oh, but they just didn't have any underneath the deal. They ain't got no laptops. <laughs> You got no laptop. Well, that settles it then. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, it's a, it's a good move because then I can't go like, oh, okay, well, what about this Dell? So we ain't got none. Right. We ain't got none. We ain't got no laptops. <laughs> so you're completely out of laptops? So yeah. Out. Yeah, we ain't got none. So how many times did you double down on this before you just why I, I, I looked at her uh, just incredulously, and I wasn't trying to be rude. I didn't look at her like, are you fucking kidding me? I instead, I looked at her like, uh, like, wow, that's incredible that I just went through all this <laughs> mellow trouble with you. We ain't got no laptops. Yeah, we ain't got no laptops. Okay. So I just moved on. Hey, hey we ain't got no laptops. <laughs> <laughs> Not a one. It's really funny that you said, hey, I was looking. We ain't got no laptops. We ain't got no laptops. So right there, she's she's acknowledging she saw you looking at the laptops. Right. Exactly. It was obvious. We uh, look. Here's my here's my final judgment on this. I kind of find you both at fault. <laughs> yeah. She did not want to talk to you, and I don't think that. But you, I should have. I don't directly think, been like, come fucking talk to me. I don't think you were huffy and puffy when you made eye contact the first time, but when you hit that button, you, that was like <laughs> that was war. I mean, that was. Right. I mean, you're two rows over. There's nobody <laughs> there. I could have just said, excuse me. It is the end of the day. <laughs> no. Excuse me. I'm like, sure she has had to deal with people trying to pay with wooden nickels and all kinds of crap in there today. I have and no here comes Joe Ben with his ready-to-buy laptop attitude. First of all, you interrupted her conversation, which who knows what went on at daycare that day or with her man or woman. Or maybe that was her woman. Maybe. Well, and then here you are smashing buttons in her face, making alarms go off. Well, demanding your laptop, but she should have just. Uh, I'm I'm realizing now <laughs> that maybe she should just come, ma'am. I I'm. Hey, ma'am. I tell you, you know. I came up here and get a computer. I real there goes that voice. Again. I'm just saying, if we talk like that, then they might have got some more assistance. Oh, okay. Because that's like native speak. I'm I'm realizing today that it was it was it was presumptuous of me to think that I could walk into Walmart and buy a laptop if I wanted one. Yeah, 
<laughs> like, why did I, I think? think? That's like going to Grandy's and thinking you're going to get some chicken. Because <laughs> let me tell you what. <laughs> what? Pa- pandemic or no pandemic, if there is ever a time, and it's never like what we're going to do. It's like if we're like in my parents' house or something, about a group of people, like, let's get some Grandy's. Right. That's not. That is. Y'all don't sit around and go, you know what sounds good? Grandy's. And, yeah, because I know that that is going to be 95 minutes of sitting in the Grandy's parking lot. Listening to the radio, go to commercial after commercial. Well, because you pull up to Grandy's, this is what you get. <clears throat> How can we help you? Uh, yeah, I was gonna get like a ten piece thing. We don't have any chicken. Uh, <laughs> like the la- like the Chrome, like the laptop. I mean, if you want some chicken, it'll be like twenty five minutes. Okay, let's get this straight. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be the Grandy's employee. Okay, you be you. Okay. Uh, hi, welcome to Grandy's. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing today? Doing good, sir. Thank you. How can I help you? Hey, man. I, um, uh, <clears throat> I was just wondering if I, I, I think I'm probably going to get like a 10-piece. Um, a 10-piece chicken? Well, yeah. I mean, what, what Sir, we don't have any chicken, chicken right now. Uh, we can make the chicken, but it'll be like 25 minutes. Uh, now, see, that's where if this is for me, I go. Okay. Okay. You have a good one. Okay. But, thank you, sir. But when you're, <laughs> but when you're like... It's like your parents are like a group of people that you're, you're picking oh. the food up for. You're like, oh, well, no. okay, damn it. Right. Because what are you going to do? Because you know what? Your other option is just as bad to call your parents and be like, hey, they don't have the chicken. Because then your parents start going like, well, well they don't have okay, hold on. What, who's got it? Hey, what do you want to have? Nobody, they don't have hey, chicken. There's no chicken. What do you mean there's no chicken? What? There's no what chicken at the store. Are you, and then they get back on the floor. Are you sure there's no chicken? Yeah, I'm sure there's no chicken. Ask them again if there's no chicken. I'm not asking them again if right. there's no chicken. Ask well, them. can you just ask them again? Yeah, no, absolutely. He's, he's very clear. It's going to be 25 minutes before there's more chicken. Just ask him. Uh, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, would you like some macaroni or something? Uh, no. Uh, do you sure y'all don't have any chicken? And so uh, yes, sir. We we don't have any chicken. It'll take 25 minutes if you want us to make you some. So now you're in a battle with the people that are ordering the chicken, like the people you're getting it for, because right. they're like, all oh. right. And your war with this guy right. now that you have asked. Right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Here, I'll be would the you, guy again. Would you turn over your shoulder and look to see if there's any chicken there again after you told me there's not any chicken? Sir, I, I'm, there's no chicken. There's no chicken right now. We can make you some chicken. There's no chicken. Okay. Well, this make me some. So now, do you think you're going to Okay. Gonna that's a 10-piece. What two sides do you want? Uh, it doesn't even matter. Right. But, like, at that point, like, nobody is friends. Right. No. Everybody hates everybody. The situation has... <laughs> and you're right in the middle. I'm just right in the middle. You know, I have a parent one time that sent us to get Subway. That yeah. we, I, I was going, I was taking my other parent to the doctor, and on the way back, uh, she wanted me to get a Subway sandwich, and she sent me with a list. It looked like a, a grocery list, but it was just what she special, wanted her sandwich. Uh, of her special order sandwich? Yes. It was It was an entire list. And, I mean, it was so – I mean, I get it. At Subway, you can kind of get a lot of things on your sandwich or whatever. But it was so like uh, – it was such a weird order even for that kind of environment. It was like, ask if they have jalapenos. If they don't have jalapenos, get, you know what I mean? And, like, those kinds of things. So I've got to ask <laughs> double, them. Like, double do they substitutions. Have, right, you know? No. And I remember her saying, like, so she hands me this list. She explains it all. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, are you kidding? Like, if if I was going to Subway for myself, for example, mm-hmm. maybe I would do that. Because right. I know the way I like my sandwich. I can explain right. it to the person. You but if, if you say to me, hey, man, I'm going right. to grab Subway. What do you want? I'm not going to. I'm right. just going to be like, give me a meatball. Right. And just how it comes. Right, yeah. Just how, or, right. Just che- here's the cheese I want, meatballs, that's fine, yeah. you know. But with her, it's just laundry list. And she's notoriously bad about this, being picky. And then so she hands me this list and goes, and she's giving me the last of the instructions. And if they don't have that vinegar stuff that I like, then ask them for the creamy vinegar stuff I like. And if they don't have that stuff, then just get me ranch or whatever. I'm easy. I don't care. You know, <laughs> you know, you know me. I, I'll eat anything. <laughs> That's funny. That's, that's funny. That, you know me. I'll eat anything. It's funny that you would take a laundry list of something for a sub sandwich. <laughs> but you hit the panic button in the Walmart electronics section immediately. <laughs> I didn't realize it was I the don't panic button. I understand. I didn't realize. But I just, re- look, I read that sign. It said, push here if you need help. So I was like, that, okay, <laughs> that's me. Like, I just thought, oh, that describes my situation. Okay, I'll, let's see what happens when I push it. I had no idea that, like, 
It, it was like I won a sweepstakes in there with that alarm going off. Here's what I don't like about Subway. Yeah. Is I usually have a good uh, interaction with the youth of America. Sure. Like I can, yeah, you're, you're in touch. I can tell that they don't think that I'm cool or whatever, and I'm not going to try to be cool. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to be like, hey, man, what's up? Right. Just, this, just, that. I'm trying to be as easy as possible. Right. They don't want to be there. Right. I don't necessarily want to be there. Yeah, either. you understand I just the position want my sandwich. they're in. Sandwich time, that's all you're there for. Because there's, I get the distinct feeling sometimes of this generation of subway workers. Uh-huh. The younger ones. I'm not <laughs> talking about. <laughs> you just know, like, you know how you work in the subway sometimes and like Beavis and Butthead are in the back and they're like, what do you want? You know? Yes. Like if you walk in there, like, you know, right before close, like yes. then, you know. Yes. I'm not. I'm not singling any subway out. I'm just meaning in general. Uh, yes, yes. I, I I had that experience not with a Beavis in my local store. <laughs> yes, go ahead. And they're just like, I get the distinct feeling that if you're not like on them, like if I don't keep direct right, on yeah. contact, they are right. waiting for me to look away so they can, <laughs> or whatever dumb thing. I got him. I got him. Coming in, coming up in here at eight thirty. I got him. But no, I mean that's never happened. But they're always real cool with me. But like, well, you think that's never happened? Some yeah. Maybe they got me. Here's what I don't understand sometimes about Subway too. I'll go in there and be like, "Yeah, give me that five dollar foot long and that five dollar foot long and two drinks." Pop, pop, right. Get up yeah. to the thing. And go, oh, what do you got here? Uh, just two subs and a drink or whatever, you know? Okay, cool. That'll be uh, twenty seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Subway do be like that. Like, That's true. Subway's like, like that. Okay. That is funny. And I'm always kind of like right. Now, a big part of me wants to go, all right, man. What? I know. I know. Sometimes I'm just like, shit, all right, man. Somebody will do that. Because they'll be like, oh, $5 foot long. And so you get a $5 foot long. And they'll be like, you want chips and a drink? And you're like, yeah, I kind of do. Okay, $15. Okay. Or, yeah. It's like, wait, what? Like, oh, it's not a $5 foot long anymore if you get a. They're this far away from going, what did you make today? <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, I like Subway, but. I know. Subway can be hit or miss. You know what? I had a. I didn't even think about it that after my experience with Sarah at Walmart, I came back through and stopped at the gas station also and had an experience with a young employee that was like so on it. What's. Oh, a good. A no, good no, experience? no. Not on it like in a good way, but like on one, I should uh, say. He was on one. So, but the common denominator here is still. Me? Oh, okay. But I don't see, but I don't. I, I, I'm oblivious to it, man. It must be like. Growing up in small town or something, I'm like oblivious to what I am doing to people to make them act this way. But his was more like this: like I walk in and he's trying to put change in the thing in the in the change dispenser thing. What? What are you talking about? At a gas station, usually by the register, like where they have the penny thing. Right. Like instead of handing you change, <clears throat> you know, they have a little machine that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and okay. it just spits out your. your I got coins. you. I got you. I got you. He's trying to put that thing in, and he's just like, he looks up at me. He's like, "Man, I hate this thing." <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. And then, like, he's trying to have a conversation with the guy behind me, and he's talking about how bad he's ready to get out of there. And <coughs> like, he's like, ah, I can't wait for 930 or whatever he said. And I'm like, oh, okay, man. He does this to me every time I go in, in fact. Anyway. Man, I had a terrifying experience at a gas station not that long ago. What happened? Maybe we can just end on this. Okay. So, go to get gas. That one by the bank right over here. In that street uh-huh. I used to live on? Yeah. First of all, don't ever go there. Right. That's the place of the shits. It's terrible. Right. What was that noise? <laughs> anyway, so I, I go in there to, uh, I think I was, because I lived down the street, so I was going like a Coke and like a candy bar or something. Right. Like, seriously, that's what I was getting. Okay. Like, I wasn't even, it wasn't even like You weren't even there to get gas or nothing? No, I was just, like, we had eaten dinner and we didn't have, like, we wanted dessert. So I was, like, going to get some Reese's or something. Right. <clears throat> the one across from that bank? Yeah. Oh, that's iffy, man. Your Reese's might be from, yeah, who knows, nineteen ninety eight. Right. So I go in there, and there's a guy from nineteen ninety eight in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is what I'm talking. Man, crackheads are like attracted to me, man. <laughs> and he's looking at me like he knows me. You know what I mean? And so I pick up on that pretty quick and hard right back of the mm. store. I do not want to talk to this guy. I don't right. know this guy. Yeah, yeah. He was trying so to get my was, attention. So what you did I walked know in. This man. Yeah, no, I don't know this guy. And but he made eye contact with you as if to be like, yeah. "Oh, hey, we're about to talk." Yeah. And this guy looks like every police sketch of like a prowler <laughs> that you've ever seen. 
<laughs> yeah. And his, his shirt's kind of baggy, but it looks like it's been stretched, like he's been in a fight and ah, the shirt's been stretched yes, out. Like, okay. This, you know, I know the this ain't the best. Oh, I bet I know where he even, what apartments he come from. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. He, he, this wasn't the best day of his life. Oh. Didn't look like. Oh, no. And uh, anyway, so I walk around the corner and there he is. Like, he followed me. Oh. He followed me down the other aisle and he goes, oh, he, he goes, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, never once in my Not whole life. ever? Yeah. And if yeah, you have yeah. seen me, it wasn't my... Right. Good point. I wasn't seeing you at the same time. Good so point. Get it's, out of my bushes, creep. It's been but, all of eternity, right. and I've never seen you. So that, it like, has been a long time. So yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, man, what's up? You know, And I keep walking, but I keep moving because I right. just think, if he's right. going to stab me, it'll be <laughs> like a... Yeah, don't make it easy for him to stab you. You know, it'll be like a glancing blow because I'm <laughs> moving. And uh, he goes... Uh, he goes, no, man, I mean it. And I turned around and made eye contact with him, which was like, don't ever do that. Don't make eye contact with a crackhead in a, yeah, in a no, gas yeah, station. Because no, that, that is like that's, like that's like showing them your soul, right. your brain, every right. thought you have, every dime in your pocket, right. every text message in your phone. They right. now know everything. They downloaded it instantly. I think and he it's goes more like a window of opportunity. They look at you yeah. and they're like, oh, you looked at me? It's on now. Yeah. And he probably saw the panic of, oh, no, like, I've oh, now God. made eye contact with the crackhead Why did in I look gas at you? station. And he goes, I mean, long time no see, right? <laughs> I went, yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't even know. <laughs> what? I mean, a big part of me want to go like, I've never seen you before, buddy. And just leave. <laughs> was, that a, was that supposed to be code? I don't know what it was. So I turned around and look, I just look at the guy like, that I, okay, so now I've got to pay. For my stuff, so like you oh, know that place ain't that big. So I like turned around now, <laughs> you know I don't know what I said. Like yeah, yeah, buddy, cool shirt, whatever. I turn around, <laughs> paying for my things, totally expecting to now be attacked. <laughs> so you were like, ah, yeah, all right. And I just I was him. looking at the girls, you know, like they got the cameras up. Yeah. And so I'm just looking like, okay, right, looking at him. Yeah, but yeah, I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my bearings because I'm like because it's like backwards, you know. Right, that reverse it's monitor. Like a, yeah, I'm like, okay, so that's yeah. that way. If this is this way. If I see him coming, I right. <laughs> I mean, he didn't do anything, but it was just the creepy, creepiest like old cowboy movie, just staring at me like, long time no see, right? <laughs> I just, I mean, I've never seen you before. Why does your kind always so attracted to me? Think that like you know me? I don't know you. Well, I, I don't was, know any of you. So, you said, yeah. And he went, no, I mean it. Yeah. Long, Long time, time no see, right? Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice shirt. <laughs> and I always just thought, this is why I was, th- when I make fun of my friends for carrying a gun to the gas station, this is, they're right. You know what I mean? Like, I was wrong. <laughs> th- you're supposed to carry a gun to the gas station. <laughs> Because you never know what someone's going to be like. If you don't long tell me no see, that right. it's been a long time, no see. If mm-hmm. you do not acknowledge that it's been a long time since we've seen each other, I'm going to stab you. Right, yeah. You got it, man. It's been a long time since we saw each other. You know what's funny is I know a guy, and he, he's he been out of his mind ever since I've known him. And I avoid him at all costs because I see him. I see him around. <laughs> And I avoid him like like the plague, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh man, he'll he'll track you down every time. And you'll think you got past him. Oh hey, hey Joe. Oh hey man. And then you're gone, right? Yeah. And like Don't make eye contact. Right. And uh sometimes, man, he'll 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 get you. Like, oh hey, and he always he's so out of his mind that he always asks me something stupid that isn't oh, hey, oh man, you still working at the hospital? Never the hospital man. <laughs> never once. Is this never the guy that on. tried to sell you blue jeans in the parking lot? Though? Yeah, the yeah. same guy. Same guy that accosted you and asked you to make him a a, a tape, uh-huh. a tape in two thousand and four or something like that. Th- yeah, or two thousand six or something like that. Tape. I was like, man, I don't go to the right. I got a tape recorder, man. <laughs> to make him a tape. Yeah, he wanted you to like record stuff off the radio with a tape. Um, <laughs> yeah, same guy. And what's crazy is, one day he catches me in the post office. And, I mean, the post office in my town is tiny. Yeah, it's small. as big as this room. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there's no getting away now. And he, he gets me right at the front door. And I swear to God, he goes, 
Hey, Joe, Ben, how's your dad doing? And I was just, it blew my mind so hard. He's on the, he's, excuse me. Yeah. He got the meds right, he's man. He's finally got <clears throat> his meds right. Well, good for him. Instead of asking me about the hospital or selling blue jeans or riding in magic helicopters or whatever. Hey, hey, magic helicopters. I remember that one. I was there for that one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Instead of, oh, hey, Joe, man, that's your dad. Like, what just happened? Have you been playing a prank on us our whole lives? He was doing a bit, a character. <laughs> he, was, he was committed, man. That's he had funny. me fool. I thought he was a fucking idiot. That's funny. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's landlord talk and uh, crackhead talk. A little mixture of both. I tried to be funny. I don't know if that was funny, but... Nah, that's okay. Everybody else does these things, right? Yeah. That was good. There's people that aren't funny that do podcasts. They're not remotely funny. No. Most people... They just talk about yeah. existential economical crisis due to the pandemic and things like that. And who gives a shit? I don't. Yeah. Well, a lot of people do. I think a lot of people... I think a lot of people are concerned with, like, uh, how we feel about old landlords and... Uh, Crackheads that we come in contact with. That's true. With. This is what people need to hear right now. So I mean, we got I got tons yeah. of that. So it's true. Anyway, uh, you want to hit that theme song there? And, yeah, uh, you got it, man. And there we go. So for everybody that did this and did that, this is whatever this was. For Joe and Pete, and we'll see you down that dusty trail. That's good.